Hey guys, it's bro you wet. Uh, hey guys, it's bro you wet. Uh, hey guys, it's bro you wet. All right, Blizzard, I get it. You didn't feed your hamsters enough to run your servers on launch day. So the launch for Overwatch 2 was a complete failure. I don't think anyone can deny that. However, the memes that came out of it were totally fire. I know I'm the only one, but I personally had a lot more fun streaming the failed launch of Overwatch 2 and looking at your guys' memes than actually playing the game. God, what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> but that's not what we're here to talk about. We're here to actually speak about the issues that transpired yesterday. Why people weren't able to get into the game. Why people's skins and cosmetic items didn't transfer over. Why some people's profiles just completely reset. We're here to talk about all the issues and why they happen. As of yesterday, I've seen there's five issues that a large portion of Overwatch 2 players are having. The first that I think everyone is experiencing is server issues. The second one is that the Watchpoint Pack content isn't in their profile. The Space Raider skins, the 2,000 coins, etc. The third issue that I'm mainly seeing console players experience is that skins and cosmetic items are not transferring over or merging onto their main account. The fourth issue that I'm really confused about is that previous Overwatch 1 owners, their profiles just get completely reset, including not having the original Overwatch 1 heroes. The fifth issue that I'm seeing PC players experience that could honestly be a placebo is that their aim in Overwatch 2 doesn't feel the exact same compared to their aim in Overwatch 1. And again, I'm sure there's more issues and bugs that other people are experiencing than just those five, which you can comment down below to see if other people are experiencing these issues as well. But first, let's talk about the main issue that everybody experienced at one point, server issues. Why does it say there's 30,000 people in front of me and it's not moving? Why does it say there's zero people ahead of me and it gets me to the back of the line? Why is it when I get into the game that it completely removes me for the game and puts me back into the queue? And there's actually two reasons for this and the main culprit and the main reason why server issues are happening is because there was a DDoS attack yesterday on over Overwatch's two servers. Now, I'm not a huge expert on DDoSs and IT, but how I think it's happening with Overwatch 2 in this case is that somebody wants to be a huge hater and ruin the launch for Overwatch 2, so they're just flooding the servers with just a bunch of junk bot profiles that gets in the way of regular players like us that want to log into Overwatch 2. Now, I really just want to emphasize that I truly don't know how servers work or how you go about fixing it, but I do know for a fact that Overwatch 2 is not the only online multiplayer game that has had an issue like this. Like, ask anybody that experienced the online launch for GTA 5, and they will tell you horror stories of how terrible that launch was. I still remember that launch vividly, even 10 years later. That's how bad it was. You would have a bird's eye view of Los Santos, and then you would fly into the plane, and Lamar wouldn't load. It just, it would be such a terrible launch, but that just goes to show that even with GTA 5 and Rockstar, any game is susceptible to DDoS attacks that these companies can't always plan for it. And as of this morning, the server issues are still going on. If you try to log on to NA or EU servers on PC, you can't get in. But if you log on to Asian servers on PC, you are able to get in. So that's a quick and easy fix. However, you have to know that you're playing on Asian servers, not on the region that you play on. And I'm sure that you console players are wondering how to switch servers. And don't shoot the messenger. Don't get mad at me for telling you this. But you can't switch servers, which means that server issues are still going to be going on no matter what region that you're playing on when it comes to console. But I think as the day went on and people learned about the DDoS attack, Attack, they started to see that this was out of Blizzard's control and they were trying to fix it. But what wasn't out of Blizzard's control were the next type of issues because the second big thing that I saw was that the Watchpoint Pack content was not appearing in people's profile. Now, I am led to believe that this might be a console issue. Specifically, if you're a PC player that bought the Watchpoint Pack and you logged in and you didn't have your Watchpoint Pack content, let me know. But I got my 2,000 coins, Space Raider skins, the Battle Pass, everything. But just because I got it doesn't mean that's not an issue. No, this is actually something that I asked my chat and they said, yeah, I I don't have my Watchpoint Pack content. And that's infuriating because you spent $40 to get the content. And especially when you spent $40 before the game even launched, you expect everything from that Watchpoint Pack on launch date. So I understand that it's unexcusable for that to not appear in your profile. And it sucks to say this next part because I always try to find a solution for your problem because, well, you're coming to me because I actually communicate to you rather than the Overwatch team in Blizzard telling you how to fix your issue. But as of right now, it seems like there's no known solution to actually get the Watchpoint Pack content, but I do know that over time, like, it's, it's literally illegal for you to buy something and then you not to get the content. So I am gonna just hopefully go out on a limb here and say that if you got the Watchpoint Pack after all the server issues and all these bugs are fixed, soon enough you will get your Watchpoint Pack content. 
You will. Just be sure to keep your watch point pack receipt, and if, like a week from now, you still don't have the content, I'm sure you can easily contact customer support, and you can show them, like, hey, I bought the watch point pack, this is my profile, and they'll be able to see, yep, you bought it, and you deserve the watch point pack content, and they'll try to figure out a solution. Now, the next issue that I know is mainly a console issue is that skins and cosmetic items are not transferring over into Overwatch 2. Whether it's from your Overwatch 1 profile into your Overwatch 2 profile, or if it's your accounts getting merged from a different platforms account now once again when I logged onto PC I had all my Xbox skins and cosmetic items and more importantly gold guns transfer onto my PC account even though I've never played a competitive game on PC in my life and I think that's a telling sign that skins and cosmetic items will transfer over to PC but other platforms won't transfer over onto console accounts whether it's PlayStation skins transfer over to Xbox or vice versa or a PC skins and cosmetic items transfer over to switch or Xbox whatever the case may be and as of right now the overall team has gone on the forum and saying that this is a known issue and they are working on fixing it so eventually you will get all your skins that you bought from loot boxes you will get all your gold guns that you spent years grinding for in competitive and you will get everything that you originally had on a different platform onto your main account however I will highly advise you to not unlink your console account because if you unlink it more than likely you're gonna have to wait a whole entire year before you can relink that account Meaning that you will 100% not get your skins cosmetic items from your old accounts Now I know if you already did that your heart is sinking Please don't shoot the messenger at me just telling you the fact that yeah You probably will have to wait a whole year You might be able to contact customer support and try to get your account relinked because I'm sure this is a well-known issue That a lot of people try to do but just don't unlink anything because they did tell you already that if you unlink it You're gonna have to wait a whole year. J just don't do it just do not do it. Even if it's not working right now, just do not do it. But the fourth issue that, again, I think just console players are experiencing is that original Overwatch 1 owners, when they log into Overwatch 2, their profile is completely reset. Their stats, their achievements, but more importantly, the heroes that they had in Overwatch 1 are no longer in Overwatch 2. They're having to go through the gauntlet of unlocking the Overwatch 1 heroes. I think this is all just related to the fact that account mergers are not working properly in Overwatch 2 and it's silly because well you prepared for this early on in Overwatch 1 before Overwatch 2 even happened and the worst outcomes still happened where account merges didn't happen but even worse even just a regular old Overwatch 1 profile didn't properly transfer over into Overwatch 2 and this has already been somewhat notified by the Overwatch team saying that some players who merge their PC and console accounts are seeing an unexpected error and I think that unexpected error is due to the fact that they're not recognizing your Overwatch 1 profile but they're seeing that you have have an Overwatch 1 profile so it's getting work done eventually your account will be properly restored because well they have all the information on your account it's not just lost in the wind it really does seem like the biggest issue here is just when it comes to account merger skins aren't transferring over heroes aren't transferring over people aren't able to log in because their account is tied to a console account whereas when it comes to PC players they were able to log in an hour early all their skins and cosmetic items and rank were still in Overwatch 2 and they really didn't have a lot of issues in comparison to console players but one of the issues that PC players did have and I think this is a better issue to have compared to console players is that their aim didn't feel the same in Overwatch 1 now this isn't a known issue by the Overwatch team where they said yep there's something wrong with the engine it's not you that sucks it's on our end but I do know that Overwatch 2 is running on a different engine and maybe it's a little bit smoother or maybe there's just something else like within the game that messes with your muscle memory to where your aim is off by maybe a few frames I really couldn't tell you I think that over time your muscle memory will adapt to the quote unquote new game engine of Overwatch 2 because this is a different running game it's running a completely different engine uh, in comparison to Overwatch 1 and I do think that has something to do with the fact that your aim is not the same in Overwatch 1 so I don't think you have to worry that you suck I think it's just something to do within the game that's just messing with you just by the slightest and those seem to be like the biggest issues that have not been resolved and again there's other things that have happened like the happy Genji skin owners of that skin now are just getting their tokens returned in overwatch 2 because that wasn't probably showing up but that's kind of silly because well it costs 200 lead tokens in overwatch 1 how much does it cost in overwatch 2 i don't know because i still can't log into the game <laughs> but just know the overwatch team is going to fix these issues and they will not ignore your problems it might take some time because again we're transferring from a whole different game into a whole new game but your problems will get fixed i promise you so, I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. I'm going to be live on Twitch by the time this video goes up. And I'll see you guys there with another Watchpoint Pack giveaway. I love you guys. More Watch 2 videos to come. And bye.